right guys it is september 1st and look what's in the sale oh i would love to have this combine <laughs> and it's only 11 months uh old too so it's practically brand new look at this butte oh man we would have to okay so one hundred forty thousand dollars. we'd have to borrow that much and probably maybe even a little more from the bank for operating cash just to purchase this but you know, when opportunity knocks kind of thing, um, let's just think this through for a second. This, it's only 11 months old, so it is practically brand new, okay? Um, so there's that, which means, you know, it's going to have lots of durability and, and last for forever, probably for the whole rest of this playthrough. It holds 9,300 liters. What does our little combine hold? 8,500 liters. Okay, so it's not a ton more than this um what let's see what is this this is the ch770 so if we go here it's this one here what are the combinations that it can do so it can use a 28 foot which is the same length of the header that we have which means we could probably just keep using our current header and as we know we can fudge a little bit and put a little bit larger headers on these combines too and get away with it. So, oh man. All right, well, you know what? We don't have to make a decision on this until the end of the day. Um, so let's, let's, just, let's just sit on that. Um, we really can do it. I mean, that's, that's the bottom line. We can do it. It's just that, you know, we gotta take out another big loan and pay more interest and we'll be able to easily pay that off, you know, by the end of the year. But yeah, I don't know. I, I, I got to sit on that. I got to sit on it. I'm not going to say no. I'm not going to say yes. All right. Well, anyway, let's get to the business at hand. Um, we are going to need seeds and we're going to need to get our cedars out of the shed. And at some point today, um, we also, <coughs> excuse me, we're also going to need to um, do some rolling. Um, the problem with my rollers is that the AI does not see these as soil rollers. They just think they're metal rollers. Even though, in fact, when I run them, they, they also work as soil rollers, you know, pressing the seed down and that kind of thing. So I might end up just leasing one of the big Dalbo rollers for that field um, for that reason. Which is kind of too bad because I have three of these. And I use them, you know, for metal rolling, primarily. So that way I can get three tractors going all at once to get all the rolling done, and it, you know, makes it go by really quickly. So, anyway, okay. Well, yeah, let's focus on the first thing first, and that's, of course, the seeding. So, and we're going to do, we're not only going to seed our... Uh, what's going to be our barley field, 57. But we're also going to fix a couple of areas on the grass fields, too, that need to be reseeded. And I think, because my seeders are direct drills, I should be able to just overseed without having to, you know, plow or cultivate or anything like that first. That's the theory, anyways. We'll find out if that's actually the way it's going to work. Just gonna pull these over here for now. And we're gonna be selling cake and probably butter and milk. I think those were the three things, oh, and cheese. Uh, but we're gonna wait until um, we're going to wait until the end of the month and late in the day on September 3rd before we do that so we can produce uh, more of those things. Okay, we're going to move these by hand because you could do that in real life. So let's see. I'm gonna, I know you wouldn't be able to lift them, but you could certainly drag them with the wheels. I don't think it'll let me do that, though. So we'll just pretend that's what I'm doing. 
I'm uh you know I think we've kind of had this conversation before but I consider myself a semi-realistic player in this game he says as he, <laughs> as he moves the way too heavy cultivator by hand um, I like to play you know realistically to a point but I also like to enjoy the game and for me you can you can take that too far to, to the point where the game is no longer enjoyable so you know you guys know that I get out of the vehicle to fuel and I get out of the vehicle to hook up because that's fun it's realistic but it's also you know more immersive I guess is the word I'm looking for but you know but there's other situations where I'm you know I don't want to spend five minutes moving all this crap out of the way to get the cedars out so I'd I'll just use super strength to pull them out, you know, and yeah, that's just kind of, kind of my MO. Okay, so let's just hook up this one seater because it's already set for grass and let's take care of our grass areas first. I don't remember how much seed I have in here, so we might end up needing to buy some more. In fact, let's take a look at that real quick. We have 2,400 liters. Okay. And each one of these guys holds 830 liters. So we'll see. We might have enough, but the thing is, is, I've got to buy more seed for the greenhouses anyway, so it's kind of a moot point. All right, let's see. Where do we have the damaged areas of the field? I don't think anything over here is damaged that I can remember. I think, yeah, I think we're okay on, the, on this field. I know we have a spot over here by the shed. So can I just drop this down and reseed? Yeah, it looks... Uh, no, I can't because because that's not seen as as a piece of field, and, and it's because I paint it over. That's why. All right, so that means we are going to have to um, pull out uh, our subsoiler and reconvert this back to a field. So let me go grab that and get that done. Okay, so let's go ahead and get right up to here. Uh, press Y to change this to create fields. Okay, we got one little pile of rocks there. So I'll come back and grab those later, I guess. Not that they're really gonna matter that much, but we have to have clean fields, man. Oh wow, that got all messed up with grass on the road. Don't like that. Uh, we didn't paint over this actually, so we should be able to just reseed that, no problem. Uh, there's another spot. Don't think there's anything on this little section over here that I can think of. But woohoo, got some airtime. <laughs> uh, there's another spot over on this field too that I kind of screwed up. Just a little tiny spot here, but if we're going to do it, let's just do it. We're going to lose more hay than we're going to gain for the short term. Um, I definitely don't want to screw up the line on this. Let's save first. I think I'm in a good spot here.
Okay, that's good. And looks like it generated one little tiny pile of stones. Is there a spot up here? No, not really. I mean, there's that tiny spot there, but I'm not going to mess with that. All right, I guess that's it. I thought, I was thinking I had more than that. More areas that were screwed up. Tell you what, I'm going to drive around and just make sure that uh, we've covered everything. Since we have all the equipment out to do this, you know, now's the time to do it. That should be good. That really irritates me that that grass got on the road, but I can't, I can't remove it because it won't let me do anything on the road. All right, I think we're good. Didn't find any more bad spots. So I'll go put this away and then we'll continue with the seating. Oh, uh, I wanted to also show you guys something. I discovered something. And the reason why I'm not able to use the GPS or wasn't able to use the GPS is because I hadn't actually installed it on that tractor. I was told you only have to buy it once and then you have it for everything. And that is not the case because if I go into here and go to New Holland and put customize, I have to pay another $15,000 to install it on this tractor. Um, so that makes sense, but it's also kind of a bummer because, um, unless I misunderstood, one of you guys told me in the comments, you only have to buy it once and then it's available for everything. Uh, and maybe I misunderstood your comment, but, um, but at least I know, understand now why it's not working. And that's good because now we know we can put it on a tr one of our tractors and then use it for plowing and slurry spreading and all that. But obviously we can't afford to do that right now, so. I'm good with that. We just have to wait till we have the money. All right, let's get back to the seating. I'm just going to teleport. Let's put our lights on. You know what? I, screw the stones. I'm not going to worry about it. One little tiny pile of stones is not going to make any difference at all. So forget about it. Forget about it. There we go. Okay. So that part is fixed. Oh no. I, guess I still missed that little spot there. Well, whatever. Whatever. It's going to have to stay. I'm not messing with it. I'm not pulling that stuff out again. Not pulling it out again. Yeah, that's too bad that that grass got on there. Doggone it. That's frustrating. But I can't do anything about it. Okay, that fixes that little spot. And I think that's all we got to do, right? For grass? Pretty sure. Let's just try this, but I don't think it's going to let me do it. I could probably fix it in the editor, which I still haven't installed yet. But if we go to painting and asphalt, and um, yeah, see, it won't let me paint on the road. It sucks. If it doesn't let you paint on the road, then it shouldn't let you put grass on the road either. Oh, you know what? That's not even grass. Those are weeds. Oh my goodness, that's funny. Yeah, those are weeds. <laughs> I wonder if we could spray them with herbicide. Hmm, that's an idea. Okay, well, anyway, let's get back to the... Oh, I didn't want to do that. Uh, let's get back to the farm, and we're going to change all of our cedars over to barley, and we're going to use all three of them for this field. All right, so let's make sure this cedar is completely full, even though it's 99% full. Am I close enough? No, not quite.
There we go. Okay, so that's 100% full. And we want to change this to barley, which is that. Yeah, because that's oats, that's canola, that's soybeans, that's sorghum, that's oilseed, grass, wheat, barley. Okay, just wanted to double check. Um, actually, here, let's take this o act over to the field. We'll stage it over there. So I'm not going to hook them all up till I get to the field because it gets really wide when they're all three on. Okay, we got all three cedar sets to barley. So let's connect to the first one. And then what we have to do here is extend those out and back up. Connect that one and this one. Looks like I have to pull that board a little more. Nice. Um, all right, you still have the. So, what we have to do now is we have to select. Yeah, I want to close the lid on you. And I think we can just press Control V to drop all of them at once. All right, that didn't, that only did that one. So what if we, I think that dropped all three of them. Just had to have the tractor itself selected. Yeah, I did. Okay, cool. Uh, no, it didn't drop the front one. Uh, all right, let's just drop that one. Okay, let me try something now. now they're all down. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Control-V is supposed to drop every tool that's connected, but maybe it doesn't work on these for some reason. It still doesn't have that center. Oh, <laughs> that center went down. Okay. Now it's down. Okay, so let's just double check before we go any further uh, that we are indeed putting barley down. Yep, looks like barley. Okay, that field has barley on it? Oh, it must have just been planted by the farmer because it had weeds on it earlier. Yeah, okay. All right. Here we go. I love this setup for for large sewing jobs because it's nice and wide. We can go 11 miles per hour, which is fantastic. And it works out quite well. I've used this for large sewing contracts, but this is the first time I've used all three of these. I think it's the first time I've used all three of these for my own fields, which is neat. Clunk. Okay. We, I'll probably have to come back through with just a single seater to kind of get these corners, but that's fine. We'll be able to get the, definitely get the bulk of the field. Um, 
uh, doing it this way. Just bumped into that pole again. If I had the money, I'd I'd purchase the GPS for the Fent. I mean, we're definitely going to purchase the GPS for the Fent. It's just I only got eighteen thousand dollars, and that would almost drain all of that cash if we bought it right now. So we're just gonna have to wait. Okay, so raise you up. Did that raise both of them? It did. Okay, so control V will at least do the the back two. at that with a whoops a little bit more overlap yeah that is one of the downsides to this setup is backing up doesn't work too well <laughs> um okay so control v right here let me get up right on the edge of the field here drops those two and then i gotta press my normal lower button to get the front one So we'll go right along about this line here. Beautiful. All right, guys, let's get this field seated.
right, this is the last little patch. Um, there are a couple of small spots I have to go around and grab. So we'll do that as soon as this is finished. Okay, so we will... Uh, we're done with the rear ones. Oh, I found out too what that noise was that it, where I said I thought it was dumping it back out. We actually filled one or more of these with fertilizer inadvertently. So it's not that one. It's not that one. Oh, well, I don't know. Maybe it's... Sh Why does it show 685 liters of fertilizer in the lower right-hand corner by my speedometer? <laughs> I don't know. Um, let's look at the map. Well, actually, I guess we don't have any missed spots. It looks, it shows the whole entire field is planted with barley. So, um, that's weird though because I could have sworn there's a couple spots that were missed. I wonder if, I don't know this for sure, but I wonder if the game, you know, even if you miss little tiny spots, it still considers it seeded. Let's, um, I thought there was just one little dot over here. Yeah, there's one little dot right here. So we're just gonna use the main seeder. I'm gonna do them anyways because I just want to make sure, you know, that they're actually seeded. See, there's a couple strips here. But like I'm saying, I wonder if the game just kind of compensates for little missed areas like that. Because according to this, the, the, the entire field is seeded. Uh, but I'm going to hit it anyway, like I said, just because I want to dub make doubly sure that this is all done. We're <laughs> Our seeder's a little messed up here. Um, oh, actually, I'm not even on the main seater. Here, let's push those back out a little bit so they're not up in each other's business there. Okay. Yeah, there's a spot up here, too. So either the map's wrong and these areas aren't seated, or they really are, but... I've, you know, I've missed spots before feeding uh, or seeding fields. I was going to say feeding seeds. <laughs> a little dyslexia there. And they were actually missed. You know, when the crop came came in, those spots were missed. So that's why I want to really double check that we got everything here. When I um, set the worker loose... They would miss these little tiny corners right here. See, there's just that one spot there. There's a spot right here. Looks like everything else is good. All right, let's go check up at the top of the field. not spotting any other areas that I can see. There's a spot right there. Just a tiny spot there. Yeah, these are all from the worker. I was actually pretty impressed with how well it did turn around and get these things lined up, considering there's three different implements here that you have to deal with. Okay, I think that's it. I think that is it. So, what is left for uh, this episode is basically I'm gonna I'm just gonna get my roller. I wonder. You know what we should do. Let's, I wonder if we could get the workers to do the rollers using course play. 
All right, let's try that to wrap up our episode. If it doesn't work, then I'll just do it myself. I, I was going to rent the Dalbo, but I don't think I will because I think I'm going to have to buy some more seed to get the greenhouses, and I want to hang on to the money that we currently have. So if I can't get the workers to do it with course play, then I'll just I'll bite the bullet and do it myself. It's going to take a little while, but you got to do what you got to do. These cedars all need to be emptied and clean and cleaned up. They're filthy. That's probably what happens when you drive through a field that has had slurry spread all over it. Okay, so if I do this and then that and then that, that drops off the seed. I'll take these over to get washed. Okay, so I th think what we're going to do is we're going to start on this end of the field because it's square in this corner. And we're going to try course play. This is the first time I've ever done this. So let's get this unfolded. Uh, this field should show as needing rolling. Um, here. Needs rolling. Yep. It all needs rolling. Okay. So the problem with using the base game AI is they don't I, I I don't know this for sure but I think that they just see these rollers as meadow rollers because if I try and turn him loose uh it works that's the first time that's worked every time I've tried it before they say they can't find a field because they think they're meadow rolling all right, well, um, let's, okay, hold on a second. Let me, let me try this then. Let's go to the, the Fint, which I sent over here with a worker. What happens if we turn him loose going this direction. It works. <laughs> Doc got it. All right. Oh, I'm actually glad it works. I'm actually glad that it works. Um Okay. Well, now that we know that I s let's just try course play anyways. So, let's stop him. All right, so what we have to do is we have to grab this little thingy here. And I think we have to go into the course play menu, which is this one here. No, that's for saving courses. These are global settings. Okay, so we'll pay the driver the same wages as the base game. You can actually change the wage uh, for, for the course play drivers. You can give them more money or less money, but we're just going to keep that on the default. Um, real quick, the, the driver will 
keep your your uh, machine repaired as it's using it. That's important for harvesting in particular because if your harvester starts to become damaged, it, it's less efficient. Um, but it also costs money. So we'll just say anything less than um, less than twenty five percent for now. Uh, fuel threshold they stop it when they get down to five percent fuel. If you don't have any repair on, then that you have to set how broken before you want them to stop. Um, but we're not using that. Okay, we're not using expert mode. We're not using gamepad friendly HUD. Uh, we want to see action events and info text. And I have custom fields on because of the fact that we have added, you know, more to these fields. They're not the default fields. Okay, so now I think what we do is we go here. Show course, start, stop only. Let's let's show the whole thing at least at first. Open HUD with mouse. That's that's on. Uh, only turning on the field. Uh, that means they yeah. That means they can't go off the field to turn around. Raise tools early, lower tools late. I think that's what we want. I don't believe we want an offset for this, and I don't even know what vehicle debug is. Okay, so now I think what we do is. We go into the worker menu and we select our dude um, and click create job. And then we go to, oh, I didn't know you could do that in here. That's kind of nice. Uh, course play field work. We got the John Deere, or not the John Deere, the, the New Holland. Target, a uh, field position is already set because we're on the field but if we if we weren't sitting on the field then you could you use this to select which field you want to do uh start at first waypoint and yeah i think what we do now is generate a course before starting the job uh, thought there was supposed to be a button down here for us to do that Open, close, course generator. Field work. Oh, do we have to do a target position? Pick a target location. Okay, so we did that. Start at first waypoint. Why isn't it giving me the option to generate the course? Do I have to set field position too? No, because that just says that's the field. I think. Target position. Pick a target. Is start job? No, it says generate a course before starting the job. I thought there was supposed to be a button down here that lets me actually generate it. What's that do? I don't know. I think that records. Oh, 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 okay, okay. All right, so what I, what I actually had to do is click on this link to bring the course generator up. Got you, okay. So work with multiple tools, number of headlands. Let's do one headland, start work. On the headland, sure. Smooth corners. Uh, up and down. Let's, yeah, let's just do up and down. We're not going to skip any rows. Rows per land. When the center mode is lands, this many rows are in each block. I think that's if you're doing like contour farming or something. And then we don't have any islands, so we're good. Okay. This is how we generate the course. Generate field work course. There we go. And now you can see that this is the direction that he's going to work at. And he's going to start at the headland. Okay, so now... Oh, okay, we can open that from here too. Gotcha. I I'm not actually going to keep all these on, but it basically just kind of shows you, you know, where he's going to start from. Okay, so I think all we have to do now is uh, just click play.
All right, what's he doing? Well, I guess he's just getting turned around. Uh, he was supposed to start at the headland. Uh, okay, let's go. Let's go back to here again. He was supposed to start here. Yeah, I don't know what he's doing. That's really weird. Uh, let's have you cancel job so you don't get in the way of this other guy. And I want you to... Uh, just go park over here for now. Oh, did we cancel him too? Yeah, I think we did. All right, let's just restart him. Anyway, you can so you can see, you know, how these these little lines are laid out. That's the course that he's going to follow. I wonder if because there's already a, a headland. Maybe that's what confused him. I'm not really sure. Uh, okay. Anyway, let's let's um. What does this little thingy do? I don't even know what that does. Oh, I think that's where the messages pop up. Actually. All right. If we go back into here, and I think into here. Yeah, let's just show the start and stop points only. Okay. Yeah, my my guess is he got a little confused because we'd already started. I'm I'm thinking, what does this eyeball mean? Oh, that turns it off and on. Okay, nice. So when it's yellow, it just shows the start and stop points. When it's green, it shows everything. And when it's gray, everything's turned off. Very cool. Now, I think we can also... Or in fact, I know we can. We can also get multiple workers on the same course. I don't think I'm going to do that this first time around, though. I think I'm going to let this guy do his thing. And I'm going to go... I'll check on him later, uh, but I'm going to go get set up uh, to... Well, actually, the first thing I'm going to do is go dump seed in our greenhouses, and then I'm going to get started cutting our hay. And this time around, you guys, I'm going to... I think I'm just going to cut the hay, the hay off camera, because I, I want to get advancing uh, into later in the year. So this... Yeah, for this third hay cutting, I'm just going to do all that off camera, because you guys have seen it a million times anyways. Um, so with that, uh, I think we're going to wrap up this episode here and I'll ring you back in the next episode, most likely at the very end of September, uh, September 3rd. So we can do our end of the month update and also do our sales and we'll see how, how well we do there. Okay. So thank you everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Oh, I do have one announcement to make too. I'm going to be out of town all next week, uh, from October 17th till whatever a week is after that <laughs> 24th or something like that. Uh, on business trip and I will not be making videos at that time and so I'll probably um, release whatever farming sim videos I I finish before I leave uh, every other day just to you know kind of keep the content going and there may be a few days towards the end of that where uh, there aren't anything but we will of course pick up and resume where we left off when I get back okay so with that we'll see you in the next episode bye bye